Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. On December 9th, a Korea-U.S. Cooperation Council meeting was held between Gyeonggi Province and the 8th United States Army. Established in 2002, this council has served as a channel for the discussion of issues related to the U.S. military presence in the province. During the meeting, the two sides agreed to raise the assigned Joint Council chairperson positions to the Governor of Gyeonggi Province and the Commander of the 8th U.S. Army and to hold meetings on a regular basis. Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung expressed his hope to see the strengthening of the Korea-U.S. alliance through mutual assurance. Recently, the largest electric bus charging station in Korea featuring a simultaneous charging capacity for 96 buses, opened in Suwon City of Gyeonggi Province. The province plans to eventually replace all diesel buses with eco-friendly electric buses. Last month, blue electric buses began operating in Suwon City. Not requiring any fossil fuel, these buses do not generate carbon dioxide and produce minimal noise and vibration similar to electric passenger cars. The replacement of each fossil fuel bus with an electric bus reduces micro dust emissions equivalent to that of 131 passenger cars. Electric bus use is currently being promoted via national and provincial support totaling 160 million Korean won per bus. This electric bus charging station is capable of accommodating 96 buses simultaneously. Electric buses may cost more initially, but entail lower operating costs. A fully charged bus can run up to 250 kilometers. According to Gyeonggi's plan, all diesel buses in the province will be replaced with eco-friendly buses by the year 2027 through various endeavors, including electric bus purchase cost support. A number of illegal construction subcontracting cases involving fire facility installations were recently uncovered in Gyeonggi Province. Illegal subcontracting has been difficult to eradicate and remains a persistent problem in the construction industry. During a six-month investigation of seven large construction enterprises that began this past May, 16 enterprises, including subcontractors, were apprehended for illegal practices, including the use of unregistered subcontractors and neglect of fire facility installations. There was even a case in which a project was done at one-third of the original price through three successive subcontractors. In addition to misconduct among construction enterprises, substandard fire facility installations also pose dire safety problems for facility users. 부분 부분 들어가기 때문에 금액이 그렇게 높질 않아요. 뭐 1억 내외 예, 이 정도의 금액이기 때문에 아주 쉽게 생각을 합니다. 예, 재난 발생 시에 큰 문제가 될수 있기 때문에 These illegal practices are subject to imprisonment for up to one year or fines of up to 10 million Korean won in addition to business suspension for up to three months. 13 of the apprehended enterprises were sent to prosecution while the remainder face criminal charges. Gyeonggi Regional Currency, an alternative payment method available in designated regions, has received positive user responses, with 90% being affirmative about its continued use. Introduced this past April to revive backstreet commerce, Gyeonggi Regional Currency has grown in popularity, with its issuance exceeding the annual target after a mere six months. Recently, a regional currency satisfaction survey of 1,000 residents and 1,000 small business operators in the province was conducted. 
Nine out of ten survey respondents expressed their intent to continue the use of Kyunggi regional currency. Most indicated the 6% discount as their reason for continuous usage, while 20% indicated their empathy with its purpose as their reason. Among residents, 68% expressed positive views. 63% of affiliated small business operators also expressed satisfaction with their participation in the regional currency program. Available in three different forms, cards, vouchers, and a mobile app, depending on the region, Kyunggi Regional Currency can be used as a cash alternative at affiliated small businesses with annual sales of less than 1 billion Korean won. Survey results revealed that approximately 19% of Kyunggi residents, 2 million people, have experienced using regional currency. Kyunggi province will also increase regional currency benefits while expanding related promotional activities. In Gyeonggi province, there are resource recycling towns in which residents are active in environmental restoration through the recycling and reuse of resources. Our reporter visited some of these towns. In this corner of a local public office, residents of local detached homes gather to voluntarily separate and weigh recyclable items. Many of these items are almost brand new. Named Recycling Station, this place is used by residents to separate recyclable items for later sale. All proceeds are returned to residents. In this town in Buchan City, traditional market shoppers use shopping baskets instead of disposable plastic bags. There are a number of other visible efforts to conserve the environment including murals that inspire resource recycling. These environment-conscious towns in Gyeonggi province are referred to as resource recycling towns. Recently, the province held a public meeting to share resource recycling town creation cases. During the meeting, three communities in the cities of Buchan, Yangpyeong, and Suwon received Gyeonggi Province Governor Awards. Next year, Gyeonggi Province will allocate 300 million Korean won for the creation of more resource recycling towns. Next February, Gyeonggi Province will host the 2020 Korea Basic Income Fair in Suwon City under the theme of Humans Humanely. Conceived as a solution to income imbalances, basic income refers to unconditional payments to all so as to ensure basic livelihoods. It is also a key project of the current provincial administration. The February event will mark the second occasion of the fair following its inaugural event this past April, in which more than 30,000 visitors and specialists, including overseas scholars, participated. Plans for the 2020 Korea Basic Income Fair were announced by Gyeonggi Province on December 12th. In addition to publicizing basic income and regional currency, Gyeonggi Province also aims to make this event an occasion for international discussion. Next year's Basic Income Fair will consist of an international conference for overseas scholars as well as experiential exhibitions for visitors. This fair will also be attended by local and international autonomy heads and related officials. Other programs include a talk show during which youth basic income policy will be discussed. 참여형 프로그램과 
문화 공연 등을 다채롭게 준비해서 행사장을 찾은 관람객의 눈과 귀가 즐거운 축제장을 만들 예정입니다. The 2020 Korea Basic Income Fair is slated to run for three days from February 6th. Detailed information is available through the official event website. In the wake of recent social uproar stemming from the tragic incident of a newborn who fell into a coma after being carelessly handled at an obstetrics facility in Busan, Kyunggi Province decided to expand its operating room CCTV installation support program to include newborn units. In a video of this incident, a nurse holds the baby upside down and then almost throws the baby while setting it down. She even hits the baby with a towel. This baby was later diagnosed with a brain hemorrhage due to a skull fracture. Public disclosure of this video led to demand for the compulsory installation of CCTV systems in newborn units. Kyunggi Province announced that it will install newborn unit CCTV systems in provincial hospitals from January next year. These systems will be used not only for simple observation, but also to monitor medical mishaps. Currently, CCTV systems are not used in any provincial newborn units. 그 출산 가정들의 불안감을 해소시킬 수 있습니다. 그래서 최근 뭐 낙상 사고라든가 감염 등으로 더 보호가 될수 있을 것이라고 생각되고 또한 의료진과의 신뢰도 점점 향상될 거라고 예측하고 있습니다. The newborn unit CCTV systems will be initially installed for 24/7 operation at the Kyunggi Provincial Medical Center and Public Postnatal Care Center. Video records will become available for review by infant guardians in due course. Kyunggi Province will prepare management guidelines for these systems and plans to expand the systems based on the results of the initial installations. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.